Morgan with some brilliant shots. This was at the fourth for birdie. Tough par for Dublin right around the corner. Give you plenty of birdie opportunities today. To the par three eighth where we find Lynn Grant and we hear from Karen Stupples. Well, she did hit a lovely little short iron in there, but couldn't capitalize on that one. She got Megan Kang, a pair of 66s. Greens yesterday. So her ball striking certainly on point. Treat just left of the flag six, a great target. Mm, she's found a way to get it online. What a shot. And there may be a few pro am divots out here, but none from the other players. I'd say that's the only danger. This one is back up the hill. I mean, just a, a great effort from that bunker to even have a chance, but I'm sure she'd be pretty happy with, with the par. Yeah, it's not often on this golf course, if you miss the fairway, that you'll have a good look at birdie. Putter didn't cooperate. Nine. And Lynn Grant for birdie. A nice opportunity here uphill. Oh. I was in a couple vicious slip outs already early in our coverage. Wow, that looked like that was almost entirely in the hole. Not very much, but there's a, just a little bit there. She doesn't always wait for the green to clear, Karen. Yes. No, this is true. Oh, this is a high draw. Really lovely strike. Oh, what a shot. Third shot at the 10th for Charlie Hall. Only has 36 yards from a fairly sort of decent lie here. Well, oh, she's sent that high in the air. 11th, even though it is relatively short hole. Hole location eight paces over the bunker on the left. That is a very good play. Bring it in from the top side. Don't mess with anything short. The amount of spin she puts on this. I think she needs to land this past the flag stick. Well, the green slopes that way too, doesn't it? Back to front. She's left. But just fine. An awkward two page. There's a little shoulder from the bunker that you're going to have to negotiate. Good speed. It is a pretty steep hill. And at the fourth, it's where we find France's Perrine Delacour. Third shot of the par four. Up base wide open, just sliding it right under the ball. Gabby then. check your Twitter feed. She probably knows where she stands and I, what she needs to do. I have room for followers now that uh, Andrea's unfollowed. Well, look at that. I.K. Kim. Karen, I feel like we saw her take a little bit longer to pull the trigger on Sundays, on Sunday at Pebble Beach, on Sunday at the AIG Women's Open, but now she's doing it on Friday. Something to pay attention to. And now she can run this one up the green quite nicely and not have to worry about the spin. I always like this play. Obviously, she's got the length, but send it as far as you can on a par five. I just still think. Back at the 12th, the third for Lydia Ko. Yeah, Lydia needs to get something going here. Needs to make three or four birdies on this back nine. Oh! oh this, this might be a good start. You're aware of Google, you can check it out and see what she shot. No reason to revisit. Green de la Cour tied for the lead at the sixth. And maybe not for long. Ooh, this is getting better. If she can get this to spin. I feel like her trouble pulling the trigger is just being uncomfortable with something. Just 
not something mentally that's saying I'm not quite ready. Oh, this is going to get even better. And Rose Zhang is going to have that for a much needed birdie. But it is Delacour on top as she plays seven. Just off the fairway on the right, though, she should have the distance to reach this green in two. And does. And in good position, another good look. And Nelly Korda tied for 15th as she plays her second at 14. After 285 yard drive, just a little lob wedge in. Three really nice wedges out of this group. But Nelly's been the best. She's only got four paces behind it, so has to be aware of spin control. Come down off that backhand. She took it five behind it, but that was just fine to get the spin off of the fringe. Lots of green to use here. Awkward from the fringe. It's going to break right pretty quickly. Go, go. Well, there you go. A bounce back. One of the big stars this year, and so has this young woman from China, Roning Yin. Just 20 years old. This was a moment ago, her second at 14. She is creeping closer, not only to the hole here, but maybe to being number one in the world. When she came back last year after mm. the injury and yeah. finished top 10 at the Women's Open, that yeah. was a magnificent feat. This is our leader, Perrine Delacour, on the ninth. Yeah, that was a, a decent shot after a long drive, Paige, uh, just a shortish iron in. Like Par five. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're naming a lot of holes there, Terry. Says, says the player who went Eagle Albatross to start the final round of the AIG Women's Open. There's methods of our madness. Good shot from Charlie. That lie was a little bit of a Used to in a new habit, of, instead of just whipping the putter out. Better angle for Lynn Grant. And 128 and a wedge for her. That'll get to the correct tier. See, I mean, that is kind of fun. Get to play away. <laughs> you sort of forget about all the other stuff that you've gone through. Like trying to make cuts. Oh, oh my oh. Roll. It's almost like she's just building momentum with every step of the way. Without question. I mentioned earlier she had a fourth place finish at this event. It was actually not at this golf course it had moved to Oregon Golf Club back in 2021 so a little disappointment for her to come back to Columbia Edgewater where she hadn't been as successful but certainly no disappointment through the first 36 for Perrine the you, ha, you feel such a tie to your scores everything that you post that's what's public that's what everybody sees and everybody out here there's so much more than just golfers there's so much more than birdies and bogeys and uh, Green just so eloquently expressed that. Well, that is only from 92 yards, just a sand wedge. You can drive this one in there. Love how she plays those wedges. She drives them. Oh, nearly drove it in. The one thing I do know, Grant, is that when a player gets inside the ropes, the desire to compete can take over. Ali Ewing. On a great stretch of golf. See if she could get another one. That's always fun, Paige, when... And this will be very delicate. It's going to be moving hard from her right to left down towards this hole. Oh, really nicely judged. Even out of that thick lie, there was a ton of grass in that area. talked a lot about Andrea Lee and feeling relieved after Sunday and Monday and missed getting your card by one got it last year at Q series now a rookie Ronin Yin finishing up and Ronin is right there again